Hi everyone, we're gonna take a look at a multivariable function and see how we can put the pieces together to form a revenue function uh, and a profit function. So in this example, we have this company uh, that manufactures two commodities. Um, well, actually it's two factories uh, that manufacture these commodities. So we have factory X and factory Y. And of course the revenue and the cost depend on the quantities produced at each factory. So you got to keep your organize or your variables organized here. So the revenue function R of X, Y is what we are looking for. So as you know, revenue is always quantity uh, times price. So they've mentioned that the quantities are X and Y. So those will be the quantities that we're going to multiply by the prices uh, that they have given us. And they have mentioned that the prices are P of X and P of Y respectively. So if we want our revenue function, R of X, Y, we have two quantities and two prices that we have to deal with. So what we'll have to do is we'll have to take quantity X and multiply it by price X, and then add to that quantity Y multiplied by price Y. So again, it's quantity times price, but because our revenue function consists of multiple quantities, we have to combine them together. So it's gonna look like this. So then here we go. We're just gonna put our X here, uh, multiply it by P of X, which is the 25 plus the four X minus the five Y. And then we have our quantity Y that we're gonna multiply by that P sub Y, which is 36 plus three X plus three Y. So then we're just gonna distribute our X and our Y, uh, combine any like terms, if there are any, and then go from there. So take a minute and do that. Okay, so if you've distributed and combined uh, your pair of like terms that have the X's and Y's, you now have created uh, your revenue function. And then from there, you can do part B, which is just evaluate, which means plug in the 50 and the 40 and get a value. So let's try that. So if we take uh, 50, we plug that in for X and we plug 40 in for Y. Oh, and again, to mention that revenue function, the terms can be in whatever order uh, you like. There's no particular order for that. Okay, so plug in your 50 and 40. Let's see what comes out. Okay, so if you plug that 50 and 40 in, you get a dollar amount of 13,490. And so what this represents, so let's put this in words. This is the revenue uh, when producing, let's see, 50 units at factory X, right? And uh, 40 units at our factory Y. And that amount is dollar sign 13,490. So that's how I would answer that question in words. Okay, I'll bump that up there for you. Okay, let's uh, jump to part C, which part C wants us, it says given a cost function, find the profit function. Okay, well, just like our uh, linear you know, equations, the, the profit function is still gonna be revenue uh, minus cost. So it's just a matter of taking your revenue function and subtracting the cost function that they give you. So I know there's a lot of terms to write down. So I'm gonna pause here and do that and then combine like terms and then we'll have ourselves a profit function. Okay, so if you took your revenue function, subtracted your cost function, and again, uh, important to make sure you distribute the negative, right? Revenue minus the entire cost function. Combine like terms and then put them in whatever order you like. Uh, you should end up with this profit function here, right? 4x squared, 3y squared, minus 2xy, plus 22x, right? Because we combined our x terms of 25 and 3, and at 27y, combining the 36 and 9, minus 5,400. So there's our profit function. And then the last part of this problem says, hey, take that profit function, let's plug in 50 and 40 and come up with what that represents. So again, when you plug 50 and 40 in your profit function, you're gonna come up with the profit when producing 50 units of factory X, 
40 units of factory Y. And actually, I suppose we should say the profit for selling 50 units from factory X and factory Y. So take a minute, uh, plug those in. Again, you don't need me to run through all that, but if you do, here's what you should end up with. Should be a 7580, and we'll label that amount dollars. And that is our profit when we sell those 50 units from factory X and 40 units from factory Y. Okay, I hope this has been helpful.